For him for hours at that rally in Kano. And when he mounted the podium, he said, Na go day, na go day. All I want to do is dance, give him music. And they gave him music. Na go day. The madman that asks you, now statistics we go chop. Now don't the chopper now. I think now statistics we go chop. A <laughs> <laughs> lie with arithmetic that never, no Indian can solve it. I think now. So Asari, if you know one me ogun kill you, ogun 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 bust your belly like that, your big stomach. If you know one me ogun cripple you further, take your rubas out of your mouth and begin to mention Tifnumbu as well as uh, APC, whatever you promise to ourselves. People like yourself and others should know that your rubas actually rejected Tifnumbu. The Olori Blue Comalis of Yoruba land. Including the Olori Brukus from Ekiti. They have voted on credits. They couldn't make him president. The numbers couldn't make him president. All over Nigeria, Tifnubu knows got 2 million votes. But uh, your likes and others who thought you are going to become very rich by publicly supporting a drug dealer, a drug baron, a certificate forger, 17 months after. We go get, we, those the way we go get paid, they don't pay those ones. So if he never reach you, take Yorubas out of your mouth. Because Yorubas did not make Tifnubu presidiot. Now your likes make him presidiot. So enjoy it and leave Yorubas out of your nonsense, a warped mind and deluded mind. Please. Respectfully. Right? So more we leave that one. You have already told us that uh, if uh, Bola Tifnubu fail, we should hold you responsible. So please keep to your words. I said if Ahmed Bola Tinibu fails, hold me responsible. Uh, you say? I say if Tinibu fails, hold me responsible. Thank you. The job people are already angry that this is the worst government. We have just started. We must learn a lesson. This man. <laughs> You got a tough man, man. Adam, bo, Ojo Abo. Your eyes will see what your mouth cannot talk. Meanwhile, something happened yesterday at the Nigeria House of Representatives. I call them House of Clowns. You have heard of it, but 
But it's good if you get to see those who kind of uh, shut down this Islamic uh, agenda. You see, Nigeria was supposed to be a secular country. But there are so many things wrong that uh, the different, uh, uh, you know, call them uh, dealers or leaders in that uh, contraption and politicians, they have dragged that contraption into. You would, uh, I mean, you ordinarily believe, you would ordinarily think Nigeria is a Muslim and Christian country. They know they even they count all of us, we don't get religion. They know they count those ones who are not neither Christian nor Muslims. They know matter. And this one is for all of our religious people. This is not just for you, the Islamic uh, uh, guys from the northern Nigeria and from the southern Nigeria. Nigeria was supposed to be a place where freedom of religion, I be otherwise, eh, is allowed. When you see uh, Muslims, especially the fanatics, they will tell you that uh, any other religion is not allowed by God, Allah. When you see the religious Christians, to them, there is no other God except Almighty God and Jesus Christ, his son. So, people like me, we no get religion. And others, we say, na traditionalists them be. They are not factored in. But when you look at uh, the constitution of that contraption, Sharia was mentioned eh? 47 or so times. Sharia, 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 Sharia. 47 times, they say. And in the time of Babangida, they dragged Nigeria into a, an organization of uh, is, organization of uh, Islamic uh, countries, OIC. That is why some Islamic uh, uh, Muslim countries, they whenever they look at Nigeria, they list Nigeria as an Islamic republic, which is uh, uh, and, uh, what do you call it? And, uh, a tag, rather a tag that Christians. They reject vehemently, aggressively. Nigeria is not an Islamic Republic. Nigeria is, they can never be. Nigeria, there's no way in the blood of Jesus. I, I, we will not get religion. We just look at them and say, okay. It will never happen. Nigeria will never be. Can it Nigeria. But nobody has been able to remove Nigeria from the OIC. Organization of Islamic countries or something like that. And that is why some will tell you that uh, sooner or later, Nigeria is going to be Islamic. They will begin to drag themselves here. Now, 50-50. No, no, now 60-40. Uh, which one is 60? Which one is 40? Between themselves, they are going to fight themselves. Christians will tell you. Now, Southern Nigeria is... Some will even tell you. Yeah. This uh, so, so Yoruba land is becoming Islamic. You will need to do something. That's why they tell you, see me, they do something. You be Christian, no? All of us will be no religion or only sheshe. The Muslims they chase us. Say na air fire with uh, air fire with the go. Uh, Christians they chase us. I'm sorry, Muslims they chase us. Stay with the go in our jar no more. That is uh, like their own version of air fire. Christians they chase us. Say we are going to air fire if we don't repent. Kilu take la she. Until today, uh -huh. I mean, so until yesterday, when. Some Muluri Blukus decided to kuku remove the religion is a personal thing. You do you know that by law, eh, the Nigeria government doesn't have any religion. Or you know Nigeria don't get law. By law, Nigeria doesn't have religion. Or you acknowledge that there is this freedom of religion. So they call it personal. So these guys now came. They said because, you know, uh, some states are practicing Sharia, okay? And there are some banks that are supposed to be Islamic banks. But they still give loans to other people who are not like uh, Islamic. So they wanted a section of that uh, constitution to be amended, their constitution, so that it will remove religion is personal and replace it with Sharia nationally.
that is the beginning of that uh, conversation yesterday. It lasted for over two hours. So tonight, or the next uh, half an hour, I am going to share with us those who were for and those who were against and why. So finally, it got shut down. So I'll start with this without wasting much of your time. Let's start with this. Mr. Speaker, our constitution allows for freedom of worship of all religions. Mr. Speaker, we would not sit in this hollow chamber and restrict ourselves to just a few. If we begin to put such components into the... I don't like religious people. And I'm very, very biased when it comes to that too. This is not the time for you to begin to start your religious argument too, where you are going to begin to, there's nothing you want to say that I have not heard before. This is not the moment you are going to come here and begin to batch the traditionalist too. Can you understand that now? I have so much respect for all religions. So keep your Jesus and your God or your Allah and every other thing, keep them to yourself. It won't, it won't kill you. But if you start doing this stupidity of now your God, I mean your religion be the right one, or this one is the wrong one. I'm a Daniel, and I mean it. Keep it to yourself. You understand? I don't like, see, I don't like religious people. Whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian. You understand? Keep it to yourself. You understand? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, our constitution allows for freedom of worship of all religions. Mr. Speaker, we would not sit in this hollow chamber and restrict ourselves to just a few. If we begin to put such components into the Constitution, tomorrow the ecclesiastical faction comes up. The day after, the traditional faction comes up. The day after, all other components begin to come up. And what happens to our grand norm? that is supposed to be the foundation of our existence. Mr. Speaker, Nigeria has never limited anybody from practicing his religion. You go to states like in the north, where you have Sharia being practiced as the criminal code for those states. It is because it's peculiar to them as a people and as a presence. By the time we begin to expand it and bring it into our constitution, we are not an Islamic state. We're a circular state. We're not a celestial state. We're a circular state. We are not a traditional worship state. We're a circular state that respects and gives everybody a sense of belonging. We're a nation. We need to be sensitive to the mood and the existence. Freedom of speech, freedom of association, to live in happiness. Not a scenario whereby there could be some misconceptions. To this end, I wish to crave the donors of the sponsor of this bill that he steps it down for more legislative input which, and consultation, which would be more in tune with our beliefs and the norms. But I do not believe it is a legislation that should pass for second reading. I so submit. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, my respected colleagues. Uh, I want to comment as the first, uh, the second to the last speaker spoke. In fact, the bit that was moved by the sponsor, uh, we are supposed to commend him. I agree Nigeria is a secular state where we have different opinions, traditions, religion, and what have you. But uh, if you see this motion or this bill, 
it will help Nigerians to know that uh, these commercial banks, especially Taj Bank and what have you, many people have the perceive that uh, these banks are specifically for Muslim, while it is not. So by expanding this nature, I believe when it is encompasses to everybody, many people will see the benefit of this bill, and I believe in the near future, many people will see that uh, the mover put this in the right direction. Thank you very much. Honorable Kuye. Kuye. I rise to add my voice to this uh, all important um, motion for a bill to amend our constitution with respect to the expansion of the description of Islamic law. Let me start by saying that the constitution mandates our government that they shall not adopt any religion as a state religion, meaning that Nigeria is a secular state. Number two is the fact that Section 38 is very clear as to the rights given to all Nigerians in terms of choice of religion and how they worship. Section 2 goes further to say that Nigeria is a federation consisting of the federal government and then the state's government, giving the states the liberality to adopt whatever kind of law they want to use in governing their people. And that's why we have some states with all this Sharia law and all of that. They are permitted to do it, the states as of assembly. But the Constitution, as a ground norm that governs all of us, the traditional institutions, the Obas in the Yoruba land, the Igwe, in the East, the Shakiri, the Fulanis, the Hausas, gives us only one right, the right to choose whichever one we want. We can therefore not allow this constitution to become so filled with frivol frivolities that is supposed to be the mandate of the state. We have all been clamoring for physical federalism. Give more power to the state to do it the way they want, to do it in the way of the culture of their people. And that's why I will want to implore the mover of this uh, motion to please um, allow us to please step down this amendment for the time being so that we can deliberate more on it. Because of course, from the way I see it, it's such that the state should be considering, not here. The problem of religious war, we started as far back as 1938 in this country. Let it not start here again. Let it not be that it is this house that is going to put fire to the very fragile democracy, to the very fragile situation, the unity between us. It's very important. As we are talking now, people are hearing us. People are seeing us. Thinking that we want to promote one religion over the other. I therefore pray that we step this down for the time being. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is what they started themselves with, busy with. But it is a National Assembly. Once a bill is brought before them, they would have to debate it. So what about the people that drafted it? The ones that are pushing it? Who are those sponsoring them? Eh? And it's not the first time that they have been pushing. Some of them have said it 
years back that they will not stop until the entire Nigeria eh, is controlled by Sharia. Yeah. So some of these fanatics, these terrorists from northern Nigeria, they will tell us that uh, Sharia is the best form of, because of their religion. Sharia is the best form of law. But guess what? They are Sharia, not the punish uh, thieves. You know, they punish uh, pedophiles. You know, they punish uh, rapists, which most of these criminal politicians from northern Nigeria, you know, they punish uh, those who are sodomizing young, young boys. Their Sharia is for the poor. Yeah. Sharia is not against looting. The majority of them are looters of their different states. Sharia, I know they punish that. But Sharia is for the poor. And now they are pushing it at the national level. You have heard those who have advised them to step it down. This is not right. This is not good for Nigeria. Including those who are Muslims too. Like, no, this, this doesn't make any sense. We have seen the content of what you are trying to do. No, it's not, it's not going to happen. But have you seen the faces of those who wanted it to happen? Watch this. Thank you. Uh, I'm Abdul Hakim Kamilo Ado, representing Udilgarko uh, Federal Constituency, Kano State. Mr. Speaker, I would like to make it brief to say that while being cautious, but we have to consider, and considering also the divisions we have in this country, we have to consider the ethics the values and the interest of the masses. Because we are here in this hollow chamber to represent the Nigerians and also not to make a religion or a tribe or a community, not to constrain them from practicing something which is their way of life. We all know that Nigeria comprises of uh, so many religions and also tribes and communities. But these religious matters, we consider it as a way of life, not just a mere religion. So considering the ethics and the values and the interest of the masses, not looking at the division or being cautious of what this will cause, Mr. Speaker, I think this bill is supposed to pass for the second reading. In my opinion, Mr. Speaker, we need to commend the Honorable Misau for coming up with this bill in order to unite and to create a room, free room or an interest for people that are practicing Islamic religion to practice their religion freely and to consider some way of life which comprises so many things Talk less of the, uh, the commercial that he talked about. There are so many things we need to consider in order to encompass it under this bill. If at all we are considering this bill to be passed via the committee, then Mr. Speaker, as you said earlier, that we are here as uh, parliamentarians in order to pass bills and it doesn't have to go through the committee. So we can pass it. And then later on, the committee can consider what they can do about the bill. But we are here to debate it, and we are debating it. So let us go on with the debate, and uh, later on consider what we can go with in this hollow chamber. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so very much. Mr. Speaker, my name is Honorable Isa Muhammad Anka, representing Anka Telatom of our constituency. I'm from Zamfara State. My able speaker, our honorable colleagues, I wouldn't want to dwell on issues already spoke by the last speaker. In other words, he has spoken my mind. But the other speaker, the last but one, talked about karma. Karma is already embedded in the constitution. Therefore, it takes care of other commercial laws. And I think we need to understand the subject matter of this bill. 
the veil is calling for description of Islamic law. In other words, the veil is 